Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Times News Network. I'm Laura Jost, your host for our Pharmacy Week in Review. Visit PharmacyTimes.com for coverage this weekend of the 2019 National Community Pharmacist Association's Annual Convention in San Diego. While we are in San Diego, Pharmacy Times will co-host with Parada Systems the 2019 Next Generation Pharmacist Awards. These awards honor remarkable pharmacists, student pharmacists, technicians, and industry advocates who are chosen from 10 categories, including civic leader, entrepreneur, future pharmacist, health system pharmacist, and rising star. Three finalists were chosen in each category, and finalist winners will be announced tonight at a gala dinner, along with one winner who will be named the 2019 Next Generation Pharmacist. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among women in the United States and is the first leading cause of cancer death among women globally. Even with recent strides in science in the past decade, it is still crucial to understand the warning signs and ways to lower one's risk of breast cancer, Contemporary Clinic reported. There are some risk factors that cannot be avoided, such as being older than 40 years old, being a woman, and having changes in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. Still, the CDC recommends that drinking little to no alcohol, exercising regularly, and maintaining a healthy weight can help lower the risk. Mammograms are the best way to detect breast cancer early. The recommended age to start getting mammograms ranges from 40 to 50 years old. However, self-exams can help increase the odds of early detection. Breastcancer.org provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to conduct a proper self-exam. Independent pharmacies, especially those located in urban areas, are at a greater risk for closure, Specialty Pharmacy Times reported. The analysis determined that one in eight pharmacies closed from 2009 to 2015, even though the overall number of pharmacies increased during this time. Independent pharmacies in both rural and urban areas were found to be three times more likely to close than chain pharmacies. Additionally, pharmacies in urban areas that served disproportionately more uninsured or publicly insured residents with Medicaid or Medicare were two times more likely to close than other pharmacies. The authors suggest that policies involving payment reforms and strengthening the regulation of pharmacy access standards, preferred pharmacy networks, and the 340B drug pricing program are important for protecting pharmacies at risk for closure. Pharmacists may get more questions about Zeljans if patients have seen a recent commercial for the prescription medication. In the spot called Mornings, Peer, the narrator says that Zeljans XR is not an infusion or injection, but a once daily pill that can reduce pain and swelling and significantly improve function. According to the commercial, Zeljans XR is designed to ease the symptoms of psoriatic or rheumatoid arthritis in adults when taken as directed. For more great coverage and practical information for today's pharmacist, visit our website and sign up for our daily e-news. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching our Pharmacy Week in Review. I'm Laura Jost at the Pharmacy Times News Network.